Post-herpetic neuralgia, in contrast to diabetic neuropathy, most commonly manifests as mononeuropathy, meaning the condition affects a single nerve root. The herpes zoster virus causes chickenpox, but also remains dormant in the body's dorsal root ganglion cells once chickenpox has subsided. The herpes zoster virus can reactivate at some later point, causing shingles. Why the herpes zoster virus reactivates in a specific person is rarely understood. However, known causes include immune system depression and other CNS conditions, including stress, hormonal changes, or nerve injury. When herpes zoster reactivates, it inflames dorsal root ganglion and infiltrates dorsal root neurons. This inflammation hinders dorsal horn cellular metabolism. In particular, it impairs nerve conduction and pain transmission. The herpes zoster also targets the peripheral segment of the dorsal root ganglion. The virus travels from the dorsal root ganglion to peripheral nerves, causing shingles characteristic rash. Once in the peripheral nerves, herpes zoster can cause peripheral demyelination and fibrosis.